When you watch an NBA game, you can see a lot of artistry, and it isn't only Steph Curry sinking three-pointers. I'm talking about the artistry in tattoos that is on display with more than half the players using their bodies as canvases for tattoo artists. Numerous tattoos span LeBron James's bulging muscles. Hockey players aren't as revealing with, because their bodies are covered with gear, but they love tattoos as well. Tyler Sagan of the Dallas Stars doesn't take a backseat to anyone when it comes to tattoo artistry. Athletes are not the only ones infatuated with adorning their epidermis with chemicals. About 30% of the population travels down this road. Interestingly, it is often the granola crowd, people who are concerned about the so-called forever chemicals in the environment. Curiously, they have no issue about injecting forever chemicals into their body. Yes, tattoo ink can last a lifetime, but can that lifetime actually be shortened by tattoos? So far, there have been no epidemiological studies that have compared the mortality of tattoo to untattooed individuals. However, there are some studies about tattoos that raise concern. A Swedish study asked 1,398 patients diagnosed with malignant lymphoma about whether or not they were tattooed and compared the rate with a cancer-free group. Tattoos were associated with a 20% greater risk of lymphoma. Not really surprising when one considers the types of dyes and pigments used. Black colors are mostly composed of soot that is known to contain various polycyclic hydrocarbons that are carcinogenic. Then there are the azo compounds, like pigment red number 9, that can decompose into carcinogens such as 2,5-dichloroaniline. Yes, tattoo chemicals can decompose, as witnessed by the fact that some tattoos fade with time. This is a more significant problem when lasers are used to remove tattoos because the beam's energy can break down azo compounds and produce carcinogens. Both the dyes and their breakdown products are perceived as foreign substances by the body's immune system that then musters an army of white blood cells called macrophages that engulf and break down intruders. Some of this action takes place in lymph nodes that can then be exposed to carcinogens. In another study, Danish researchers looked at twins, and in cases where one was diagnosed with cancer, asked about tattoo status. Here, too, there was a link between tattoos and lymphoma. A stumbling block in studying the relationship between tattoos and cancer is that there are some 4,000 dyes and pigments in use, including ones that are prohibited by European regulations. Analysis of inks has also found unlisted ingredients such as polyethylene glycol and hexamethylene tetramine. Not comforting. All in all, there's enough evidence to give someone contemplating a tattoo pause. Also, the twin study showed that size matters and large tattoos were associated with greater risk than small ones. And when it comes to artistry on the basketball court, we can admire Steph Curry's skills without being sidetracked by a body decked out with tattoos from head to toe. His are small and subtle. On his right wrist, there's a Hebrew passage that translates as, Love never fails, and on the left, 30. That's his jersey number, and the letters TCC, for trust, commitment, and care. Nice. That for today is our Kappa Joe.